All right, so today is March 23rd, 2014. I'm going to try to answer some questions. Uh, one of the biggest questions I got was, what was all that rattling? There you go. Another question I got is, <clears throat> how do you start it without the Jeep computer? That's real easy. Turn on the key. Hit the start. Let me see what I can mean. see here. Gauges. Pay attention to this one right there. You see it doesn't show 14 volts or whatever. Hold on. What I'm doing is hooking up this meter to the uh, battery so you can see this charging 12 volts. The reason that it doesn't show it on the inside is I've made it in such a way that I knew what the motor was actually drawing rather than what it was putting out. While we're here though, you see it's got an R4 compressor on it. Somebody asked me, well, how did you put the motor in there without cutting the frame because the compressor's on the bottom? Well, there's how I did it. Put an R4 on it. And no, I don't use the snorkel all the time. Actually, no need. I don't go on water with it. Uh, another question was, what is that right there? That's an experiment I was trying one time, and I never finished it, but it was basically, that's hooked up to the gas tank. That's the vent hose. I was going to try to run it through there, but it didn't work. And then how do you control the fans? You can't hear the fan running. Well, I've got a little thermostat right here, and i got it set on about 205 degrees. Because the thermostat don't even start to open on this thing till 205. And so when it comes on at 205, it's ready to cool back off. And no, I did not put a closed reservoir on it. I like this one better. And how would you up the cruise control? Well, there it is. Now, it's not totally hooked up. I had had it hooked up, but I took it back off, so I don't ever use it. I don't like it anyway. Now the question was, why does it need seat covers? Well, I had a dog, and he had a mouth. He likes chewing on things. Um, <clears throat> let's see, from inside here, let's see, you can see all that, okay? Up there is my high beam indicator, okay? And then there's no turn signal indicated, but if you turn on the turn signal, you can see him outside, no problem. So let's take it for a ride in 2014. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get on the interstate. I'll get this thing hell here in a second. Let me get it going a little bit. Make sure nobody's in my way. Right, here we go. got pollen all over it right now. Other than that, pretty good cheap. <laughs> 